I'm Mike Jones with Variety. I'm here with Josh Brolin, who has his short film X here at South by Southwest. Yes. Tell us what X is about. I don't know how to. I haven't really been able to put it in a logline form, but you know, basically, it's about a guy who's just gotten out of prison, and for killing the person who killed his wife, not still not knowing where the wife is or buried or anything like that, and through the communicative labyrinth uh, that prison can be, finds out where his wife is buried, leaves prison, escapes prison, picks up his wife, and that's where the movie starts. Is the, I mean, picks up his daughter, and that's where the movie starts, is he and his daughter on the road going to find um, the mother and exhume the mother and give her a proper burial. Mm-hmm. And his daughter comedy. is played by your daughter. And his daughter is played by my daughter. Uh-huh. And what would be me is played by my theater partner, uh, Vincent Riverside. And I say what would be me because I wrote it, and I'm sure I had yeah. something like Were that in my head. Were you thinking about doing that role yourself? I was. There was a moment where I thought about doing it, but then I thought, you know what, as as a short film and doing it the way I want to do it, which was very – I was very inspired by having worked with Robert Rodriguez mm-hmm. and – He's saying, look, there's no, you know, so many people go out and they they write these shorts and they write these movies and they Mm -hmm. talk about these movies and they talk about being a filmmaker and they never actually go out and do it. There's absolutely no reason, especially in digital age, that we can't go out and just shoot a movie and you don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, You know, people who will watch this film on top of No Country for Old Men (laughs) will kind of see a a similar theme, you know. Yeah. Is that kind of a similar theme that you enjoy? I mean... I don't know. I, I, I kind of I've, dusty, you know, very subtle. I, 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 I enjoy the setting very mm-hmm. much, and I enjoy the laconic nature of both stories. You know, that the audience, it's almost like audience participation. If you're, you know, it's not pandering to, as a storyteller, it's not pandering, yeah. you know. Well, that's true, because when watching the film, you actually don't know much that's going on. No. So kind of, it's slowly revealed through the course of the movie, you know. That, yeah. Uh, Cause yeah, and when I was watching it, I thought that guy might have killed, um, you know, mm-hmm. her mother. But mm-hmm. no, I actually, he's... And it's slowly, slowly revealed, and I think you actually did a really good job with that. Thank you, yeah. man. Thank you. I appreciate so that. So is that kind of form of subtlety? Is that... I mean, that's definitely a Southern thing. It's also definitely a South Texas thing. It's no, it's definitely a South Texas thing. It's definitely a Southern thing. My mom is from Texas. It's kind of what I grew up around. Mm-hmm. And and I like it because, like I say, it's more participatory. It's, it's you know, you get into it as an audience member, and a lot of questions come up, and it seems like you're more involved that way. Can you tell us what y- you did you shoot this after uh, No Country? I did. What did the, the kind of Coen brothers teach you about? With the Coens, it was more about preparation. I mean, they so over-prepare, and it doesn't mean that they're not spontaneous on the set. It doesn't mean that they won't look over, and even though they have their boards exactly like they want to shoot it, shoot it, they, they, they have a foundation that they can always resort to, yet they're spontaneous when they see something that they think would fit. But So a lot of preparation went into this. It was f- quick pre- preparation, but mm-hmm. you know, I had storyboards, a guy who had never done storyboards. Um, I, I, I had a lot of rehearsals in the car mm-hmm. um, in Los Angeles and shots, and so I came up with a lot of stuff then. What's next for you? What are you working on now? Uh, I just finished, two days ago, I finished Milk mm-hmm. um, with Gus Van Sant and Sean Penn, and uh, I go right into, right when I get back from this, I go into Bush with mm-hmm. Oliver Stone. Mm-hmm. And what about... Uh Stuff you want to direct, you want to move to the uh, future? Uh, the summer, I'll, I'll start. Uh, there's two projects the full length of X, mm-hmm. and then also. Uh, You're um, doing a full length of X? You, I, I screened it uh, at my backyard. Mm-hmm. I did, first of all, I didn't think it would get into any festivals. Mm-hmm. I was positive. And I didn't even intend to put it out there. I did it for me. I wanted to see what I could do as a, as a filmmaker, as a storyteller, as a writer, um, as a producer. I wanted to see if I could put it all together myself. And uh, anyway, we, we had a screening of The Shining in my backyard. And, uh, and then I put the little DVD in of uh, X um, to everybody's surprise. And I was expecting uh, a lot of chuckles and, oh, my God, and mm-hmm. may, just stick with the acting. You'll be fine. <laughs> um, and Paul Haggis came up to me, who usually jokes a lot with me, and said, uh, you know, we've started this company, and I'd love... First of all, I love the short, and I would love for you to write it as a full length Mm -hmm. for our company. 
Wow. So that was at least some inspiration. Mm-hmm. And then I thought, okay, well, how? Because I never thought of it as a full length. Mm-hmm. So now I've started to go into that. And then we, we, I've done this adaptation of this play that I did 15 years ago that we're hoping to produce next year. Wow. Yeah. So will X have the same cast in it? You think? No. 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 Star you or will directed no, by you? I don't know. It'd be directed by me, right. but produced I by Paul Haggis. Maybe. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it all, all works out. That's you know? that's a serious movie. Yeah. I mean, right now Bush is kind of on my head, and, and right. you know. But once we hit summer, then I'll start to write again, and and right. we'll, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm serious about this uh, this uh, making films. I, I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. Yeah. Um, it seemed to come a lot more natural than, than I thought. Mm-hmm. And I like the pressure, that pressure, a lot more than I like the acting pressure, even though that pays the bills, and I like doing that, too. Well, wow. Josh Berlin, thanks for coming by. Thank you for yeah. having me. Yeah. I appreciate it. Good. All right.